Hey, welcome back to Fab Fun. My name is Logan, and today we're going to be working on the new grapple. We're several parts into this series of this build. Today we're going to be designing and hopefully building the top jaw of the grapple. Let's get fabricating. Welcome back to the channel. I had these loader brackets I got from my brother-in-law. Um, they do have a one inch hole. I cut one of them off on the very tip and was going to use it as the uh, mount for the hydraulic ram. So I cut that. I had to cut a little bit of the ends of it off there uh, just so it would fit in between the clevis of this hydraulic ram. Now that it's ready, I can clean it up a little bit and get it ready to mount.
Well, that's about as far as I made it today. I uh, got sidetracked and went and mowed and did some trimming and now I'm covered in grass. So I'm not gonna end the video, but I will be back hopefully tomorrow in 10 seconds. Okay, we're back. That's what I've got so far. A little place to set it down on to weld. So I've got to fabricate a place for this to sit or the pin to go through up on this on the inside. And I'm hoping this 3 8 by four inch leg steel angle will be heavy duty enough. I don't plan on using this to crush cars or anything just to pick up brush so hopefully it'll be heavy duty enough. If not, I can reinforce it, I guess. Just gonna tack this. The reason I've got plates on the side here is to hold this uh, straight so it's in the same plane. It's not sitting crooked. Uh, I'll tack the bottom and the top and then take the plates off and hopefully be able to weld all the way around it. I did bevel uh, the edges. Hopefully we get good penetration with the weld. It's a lot of pressure on this hydraulic cylinder generated by the hydraulic cylinder. that. I guess we weld it up and hopefully we can find out what the full range of motion is with it all the way down and then we'll design the teeth based on it being all the way closed and this will be the starting height here. Okay, so I was getting interrupted a lot, uh, which is fine. The kids were hanging out, we were goofing off, playing around. We got some videos coming out maybe in a week or two. Uh, just goofing off, having some fun in some nice weather, but I did get a little bit more done. Didn't videotape everything, but I've got my steel plate as protection there and as protection on the grill when this comes up. Oh, okay, I can't do it because I've already closed off the uh, hydraulic cylinder, but when it's standing up, um, it does protect fairly well. 
and it protects the cylinder for the most part when it's closed. I do still have clearance. It's pretty, pretty tight tolerances there, uh, but it made sure it worked. It's got 14 inch long fangs. So this is not the style I originally started and designed in my mind, but uh, I might switch to a different style at some point in the future. It would be pretty easy to take this top jaw off and put twin rams on the back side and have a true clamshell bucket or clamshell grapple. But I think we'll do this the way it is for now. I didn't have to buy a bunch more steel for this, so it worked out. It's a pretty big opening. I'm not exactly going to be clamping small logs and driving around with them, but this is mainly designed to clear land, not for logging. Well, it's starting to take shape. Actually, that's pretty close to what it's going to look like final product. I do have a couple little things that I want to add to it, and I have to get some more hydraulic uh, hose or fittings. The 3 8 that I had, I'm missing two fittings, so I can just get half inch hose and keep it all half inch, or get some adapters, whatever they have in stock at the local Rural King. Guys, if you like the content, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll catch you next time. Have fun.